Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo, welcome to another video, and today I am back in Trailmakers building more port vehicles. Now in the previous episodes guys, I built a reach stacker, and I built a straddle carrier, which is this thing right here, which I'm having a hard time maneuvering into a crate right now. <laughs> but basically guys, I've been building vehicles that can manipulate these crates in the port, and eventually I want to be able to, you know, have a whole operation up and running with a ship, a cargo ship, which carries these containers to different places, you know, a truck that can take them by land and of course vehicles that uh you know that can manipulate these crates around the port and uh you know help with all of those processes I'm gonna lock it on this guy perfect lift it up look at that <laughs> absolutely love that now if you guys want to see more on the vehicles that i've already built make sure to check out the description i'm gonna have the playlist in there but today I want to try building a trailer that, well, essentially loads itself. While browsing around for a completely different idea, I, uh, I came across this trailer design, which can basically load 20-foot sea cans onto itself, and it's, it's actually really neat how it works. So as you can see, these guys are working with a really tight space, and what they do is they just bring the trailer in close enough and then they start lifting the trailer up and inching it over using this like hydraulically actuated, uh, I guess, weight boom in the back that shimmies the whole trailer over. It's a really cool system. I never seen anything like it, but it's really neat. And I really want to try replicating something like that in this episode today. It would be pretty cool to have a trailer basically load itself up in the sense that, you know, it doesn't need like a crane that loads a container onto it. It can do everything on its own. Now, obviously the only caveat here, guys, is we don't have ropes. And as you can see here, they're using basically a winch to drag the container up and shimmy the trailer underneath everything. Well, underneath the container. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. I might have to use pistons again to replicate that process, but that's just the nature of the game we're playing, guys. That's, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm still really excited to test out the whole mechanism where the trailer lifts up and shimmies itself over to, you know, line up with the crate. That's, that's pretty cool. Man, I can't get over how much fun it is to play with this thing. <laughs> Who knew stacking crates for no apparent reason would be so much fun? Oh no, I lifted it up before stopping. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Like I said, guys, if you're interested in these builds, go check out those videos. But let's start building this trailer. I'm really excited. Actually, let's start building it where I, uh, I was stacking those crates because we can use those crates to kind of measure up the, the width of the trailer and whatnot. Let's do it. I do think the truck wheel is still the best wheel to use for this. Now, the trailer in the video is basically running like twin dualies. So I think I'm just gonna run twin dualies as well, you know, make it make it nice and high end. We can copy that over and actually bring everything a little bit closer to the container just to kind of measure our wheelbase here. That's actually good. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna start building the frame of this thing and then we can we can go from there. I placed it here so I can see how long it needs to be as well. Okay guys, we got a basic ladder frame, nothing, you know, nothing crazy, nothing special yet. Now, as you can see in this video clip that I'm inserting right now, the trailer actually has a fairly major pivot point somewhere around, oh, oh, somewhere around here, which pivots up the whole trailer while keeping the hitch portion of it, you know, level with the truck or the vehicle that this is attached to, which makes it, you know, a lot easier. You don't have to, you know, do anything crazy. You just kind of pull up and then you use your remote controls with the trailer to load up the containers. So I'm going to try and replicate that pivot point, and I think uh, I think I should be able to. It's innovative, but it's fairly simple.
Well, this frame is looking really good now, guys. However, I made it odd width because I just, I don't know, I like having like a singular center point, you know? However, the trailer hinge actually has a double attachment point. Now, I could potentially use like like loose steering hinges maybe i don't know if i want to do that but we can always give it a try i suppose i could always widen the trailer out a little bit but i don't necessarily want to do that now, i could also make it narrower don't necessarily want to do that either i'm gonna try doing it like this attaching it to a truck and just seeing how it works Ooh, let's use this truck oh boy that actually works pretty well Kind of low, kind of low, but that's okay. It's actually a pretty good trailer. I'm pretty happy with it. Like, as a trailer, that's that's pretty minty, guys, you know? This is cool. Well, I'm stoked now. I think I might actually end up using this truck to, uh, you know, to haul stuff around. I'm going to jack up my suspension on it just a teeny bit. Oh, boy. And we definitely need to raise the trailer a little bit. That's, that's kind of low. Okay, let's get back to work, guys. I also kind of want to build a different truck. I'm not going to lie. Um, I had a different truck idea in mind. So for now, that'll just be the test rig and we can build something else some other time. There, I think that actually works much better. Now, uh, I guess we need to keep building the trailer. I'm getting too carried away here. It's too much fun driving this stuff. <laughs> actually, let's give some controls to these guys and we can test that out. Perfect. That actually, I think, does what we need it to. Whoa, why is my truck moving though? If this doesn't work, it's gonna be because my stuff is just sliding around. Okay, let's build a mechanism in the back of the trailer that helps it shimmy itself over. Let's do that now. Now, in the original design, it appears that they have a square steel tube with these weight wheels on the sides that slides around in an other, you know, piece of square tubing, uh, which is assisted by a hydraulic piston. Now, we have pistons. We can't really make a block that slides inside of another block. So what I'm thinking of doing, guys, is basically just having a piston on either side and that way, you know, we can simulate the same action, but just do it a little bit differently. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Just like so, guys. And if I have these set to start in the half position and reverse the controls on each one, well, reverse the controls on the one in relation to the other, then I think I will be able to, uh, you know, shimmy this thing over as intended. So let's, let's try that. Alrighty, let's drop all this down. Perfect. So they're in the half position right now. Now if I go left, it shimmies it over to the one side. If I go right, it shimmies it over to the other. Now the question is, is why the heck is my whole thing moving like that? Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can use uh, like a ball hinge here and uh, you know try and eliminate that better but not really i feel like it has everything to do with the suspension on my on my truck here let me try and quickly get rid of it wow it was totally the suspension well that's okay guys we'll just uh, we'll just have to run no suspension on this one and how's the ball hinge doing it's actually doing pretty well i think i might just uh might just end up using the ball hinge here you know it's uh it's what it was intended to be used for, so might as well. Sometimes building stuff in games isn't just a matter of knowing what you're building, but knowing how to build it so that the game doesn't hate you. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to save this for now. And let's see if we can shimmy our trailer over. I'm going to go over here. We're going to lift our trailer up, right? Perfect. Is it on the weights now? It's on the weights. Now, can I shimmy the trailer over? So sort of i might need to use wheels instead i guess we'll go with a racing wheel oh wait are these powered i wonder if these are powered by all my engines they better oh wow they totally are whoopsie daisy that actually does drive way better now <laughs> i was wondering why it felt kind of weird before okay so that 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 works way better guys that works way better and i don't actually need to lower it all the way down like that raise it up shimmy it over look at that dude that's awesome that's cool that it works. <laughs> all right. All right. So we got that mechanism, I guess, kind of figured out. Um, that works pretty well. I wonder if maybe speeding it up a little more would help. I don't know. Let's try speeding it up to like 1.25. I love fine tuning. Raise it up. Shimmy it over. Dude, that's awesome. That's so cool. It actually works. <laughs> okay. Now we need to, I guess, figure out a way to lift up our, well, our crate here, guys. I think I have an idea how to do that, but I also need to build a platform 
that I guess the crate is going to end up sitting on because obviously it can't sit on top of the wheels. So I guess let's start building that part. Alrighty guys, so I think the container is still probably going to hit the tires, well definitely going to hit the tires, but I don't think it's going to make a difference in this case, so I'm just going to keep it as is in order to, you know, keep the profile as low as possible and not make it uh, too ugly, but I think it looks great now, I'm really excited to try this out. Now we need to make the mechanism that actually hooks up to the container and drags it up the trailer. So we're going to do just that guys, I suppose I need to use pistons again. <laughs> So unfortunately the issue that I'm running into is that the pistons take up space uh, and I have a lot of them so even when folded up they basically take up like you know eight blocks of well eight blocks right which is quite a bit and I need to figure out a way to deal with that. Alrighty guys we are back my recording software crashed but luckily the footage was saved so we're good to go I mean if you're watching this then we're obviously good to go but here is what I managed to do guys. I think I managed to make it slightly shorter. Now, if I unfold all this right now, like so, it's obviously quite long. And if I extend it, that's long enough to do what I need it to do. However, oh, I think I need to add some ramps there. That's better. It's kind of grinding up on itself, but I mean, that certainly is better. Let's fold it up. Perfect. And then we can do this. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool how I can expand and contract the pistons in uh, in the fully collapsed form as well. I mean, we can try this, guys. I still don't think this is like here. Like, let's line up next to a crate. I'm pretty sure a crate needs way more space than this. Oh, yeah. Like this is I need to figure out a way more compact way to do this, guys. The pistons just simply cannot be protruding into the uh, like the trailer area at all. This is crazy. I have to figure out a solution, so I guess let's keep building. Perfect. That totally makes uh, structural sense. But anyway, <laughs> let's drop this down. Actually, let's save it. And I'm really curious to see if I can get a container onto here. Now, for whatever reason, guys, when folding those, uh, those hinges in, it seems fine. Like, it seems to be going slow as it should be. But then unfolding, it, uh, it just goes real fast. I don't know what's up with that. But I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, but let's try and see if we can uh, drive up to a trailer here and load it up. Maybe we can try that orange one right there. Let's try that. Oh boy, Euro Truck Simulator taught me nothing. <laughs> Alrighty, let's try a different crate, guys. Now, this shimmy mechanism isn't necessarily going to be used all the time, it's just for like, you know, specific situations which I don't know if this is one of them right now, but we can give it a try. We can give it a go. I really wish there was like a handbrake. That'd be so nice. Okay, now we can lower it down and uh, we can shimmy back our like rear axle dealio, lift it back up. This is probably a better angle, actually. This is so handy. Look at that. <laughs> cool, this is working out real nice. I'm excited. I wasn't sure if we would have enough uh, enough friction in this game with the wheels, but perfect. Look at that. Look at that. We're like almost perfectly lined up, guys. This is awesome. Why are those wheels moving? I don't understand. I just, I don't understand why those wheels are moving. And it sounds like my engine's on, but I'm not pressing anything. Now, I also didn't really make anything to secure the crate on the trailer, guys, but that'll kind of be, uh, you know, the last thing that I do simply because I just want to make sure I can even get the thing on a trailer right now, you know? So let's, uh, oh boy, oh boy, that, that gets a little bit stuck. I may just need to get rid of those, those shields that I put on there. So now we need to try and lift this whole thing up, guys. Let's magnetize it. Wait, can I lift it up? Oh, perfect. Let's slowly bring that on there. How are we looking here? Interesting. We need to shimmy it over a little bit. Nope, other way, other way. Perfect. 
lower it down maybe this is so tough because there's so many controls you know i think i need to drop it down and just re there you go remagnetize it oh no it slid off that was a terrible idea well can we just try and drag it on uh-huh right so we kind of got it <laughs> okay i'm gonna try and remove these shield pieces right here and see if that helps for some reason, I always think they'll help with, you know, sliding surfaces or like simulating a sliding surface, but it doesn't seem to always be the case. I try to make some kind of stabilizer so when it's all folded in, it's not, uh, you know, nearly as wobbly. Hopefully it'll work. We'll see. We can always adjust it, but let's, let's torture another crate, I suppose. And myself. I love torturing myself. Stop. Why are you sliding? Why are you already sliding? I don't like that. Stop that. Cut it out. Cut it out. <sighs> I need some kind of guides. All right, sticks, don't let me down. This is one of those things that is like, for some reason, more difficult in the video game. Oh boy, relax, relax. Start sucking it in, nice, nice. So far, our sticks are helping us quite a bit. Ooh, they can be tighter for sure. Lower this whole thing down and start loading it in. Perfect. Wait, what's going on there? Is that as far as it goes? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, I guess this is... <laughs> I guess my trailer is just a teeny bit short, guys. Lower it all the way down like so. It's crude. It's crude, but it's working. You know? It loaded itself up. Okay, that's neat. I definitely need a better clamping mechanism for the crate. But man, this is nice. All that effort and finally some results, you know? <laughs> Love to see it. Oh, that's neat. I mean, I'm almost inclined to say we should just make the rear of the trailer longer, right? But then we might need more pistons and we just keep perpetuating this issue where, you know, the pistons take up more space than I need them to. But this is cool, man. This is cool. I can just drive around like this all day long. Let's take it here. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> Being able to pick up stuff and like transport it for some reason is so satisfying. I don't know what it is, but... And this trailer just... Even just by itself is really cool. I think it turned out really well. Okay, we need more improvements. Let's ditch this thing and let's uh, let's see if we can improve this thing a little more. Oh my goodness, just yeet. <laughs> Worst unloader ever. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let's build a little more extend it a little bit oh my god <laughs> all in all i'm really excited about this this worked out way better than i had expected initially Alrighty, guys so i did a little bit of testing i made some modifications and i think i'm ready to do the final load at least for now now i know you guys will probably have some awesome suggestions so i'm just gonna wait to hear those and see how i can improve this thing even further but here's what I did for now. I made it shorter, just, just one block shorter because I did have a little ramp here on the end and it was helping uh, to get the container up on a trailer. However, it was actually not helping more than it was helping simply because the container was getting hung up on it. Now, the second thing that I did is I actually added hinges to my uh, side supports here. So now if I jump into the truck and I press two, as you can see, they open and they close like that. And that will help me because when the container is initially going onto the trailer, it's sometimes not perfect. And I'd rather get it on there and then align it afterwards rather than, you know, have it hit the posts like it has been. And then, you know, breaking stuff and just, just being a nuisance. So let's give it one last go, guys. I am excited to try this. I think this version is going to be pretty good until, uh, you know, until we can figure out how to make it better. But I'm pretty hopeful as far as this one goes. I love the shimmy mechanism, guys. It works so well. It works way better than expected. Good news is I'm going to be a pro at backing up after this episode. Alrighty, there we go. Perfect. Raise it up. And we can probably shimmy it over a little bit. Lower it down. Look at that. Shimmy works perfect. Okay. And let's extend our whole... Uh, piston arm here. Oh, careful, ca careful, relax. Snap it in. Raise it up. Now we can actually probably lower the trailer just a teeny bit here. Raise that up a little more and start sucking it in. Nice. Look at that. Looking good. Perfect. Look at that. Look. Oh, geez. Careful. Careful. There you go. Sucked it in fully lower the trailer and we're loaded up guys we're loaded up and we are good to go <laughs> this is awesome 
<laughs> this is awesome. That went a lot faster than, uh, than, you know, the other times that I've done it. I'm definitely getting better. I'm definitely improving this thing as I go along, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. I was going to start building my ship, and I was actually going to start building, like, a sea crane as well, but then I was like, hey, let's build this thing, because it looks really cool, and I just accidentally stumbled upon the design uh, on YouTube, and, well, here we are. So, definitely let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, Click the like button down below, helps the video be seen by other people. Check out some of my other videos, I'll have the playlist in the description down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is wicked, I love this. Now all we need is Trailmaker's Survival. Imagine that, Trailmaker's Survival would be epic. <laughs>